Well, welcome you all again in this video. So in this video, we are going to see the topic from grade 8 English. And uh, this is a poem. So before I'm telling the topic, we can, shall we have some discussion? Yeah, come on. So in this picture, you can see yeah, the children are there. Children are there. They're just holding the national flag. And they were very happy, you know. Yeah, good. So it may show something, shows their what, shows their love towards their country, right? Yes, come on. See, in this picture you could see our army men are there, army men are there, and uh, this, they are holding the guns, and also this shows their love towards the country, and this shows the service mind about the country, right? So now, so that love towards a country is called as patriotism. See, uh, patriotism uh, is showing love for one's own country. Okay, so here, uh, as I told already, we are going to see the poem. Our poem is also related to this patriotism. Yeah. So the poem topic is given here. That is my native land. And it is written by the poet. Uh, Sir Walter Scott. So here, this poem is uh, is written for uh, about written for his country. You can say, yeah. Let's before that we can see something about the poet. Yeah, he is that poet, Sir Walter Scott. Come on, let's know something. Sir Walter Scott was a Scottish historical novelist, poet. A playwright and historian. Many of his work remain classic of both English language literature and of Scottish literature. Some of his most famous works include uh, Van Gogh, Rob Roy, The Lady of the Lake, Waverley, and The Bride of Lammermoor. Uh, he is arguably known for creating a new literary from uh, form. A historical novel yeah now these are things to remember about him uh, here doesn't yeah let's go for the poem summary here the my native land is written by the poet Sir Walter Scott as we know here the poem my native land like many of Sir Walter Scott's poem reflects his deep love for Scotland the first few lines pick up on this theme by arguing that there can never be a man with soul so dead that he is not able to wholeheartedly love his native land. So here in this first para, uh, the poet is talking about his, um, not about his, about a patriotic person, how they were, okay, that soul is... A death if that's if he has no patriotism if he has no patriotic or uh, love towards his country that's why it's telling now in contrast a man who feels for his country gets prized everywhere he goes ministers honor him with all pleasure even after his death he is remembered his death become a day of na national mourning. So you know the person who has uh, patriotism, who has uh, love towards his country, wherever he go, he was respected and he is, res he is respected by all. That's what they're telling. Okay, And even after his death, he he can be remembered by everyone in the nation. Okay, And others will mourn for him. That is what given even after his death. He will be prized and also uh, they will feel sad for his death. I mean, the people will feel sad, sad about his death. Then, the person who has no patriotic feeling for his nation might be proud of his name and earn high titles of fame and position. His wealth might be boundless. In spite of these high titles, unlimited power and money, his rich soul will be concentrated all in himself. So you know, uh, here the poem is like, it's a uh, showing the voice versa of the person who are loved, who has love towards his country and uh, who doesn't have. Like, if 
you are a patriot if you are a patriotic man he will you will be uh, respected by everyone and you will be prized by everyone but if you are not if you are not showing a patriot to a, to your country uh, maybe even though you are rich or you are uh, you are wealthy no people will feel for you or no people will respect you someone so in, in this country is there so money makes many thing people says but there's no use of it right real respect should be come from the people's heart that is what here so that's why i'm telling it wherever you give if you are self selfless the people will respect you if you are selfish if you are not about, think about your country and you are uh, you know that's why it's a rich soul the poet is telling then he will lose his fair renowned living and die twice his body and soul will reduce to dust nobody will weep for him honor him or sing praises of him okay so that is what i tell you nobody will uh, give respect to the people who doesn't have patriotism yeah in your mind that is what he says so for better understanding i'm going to show you the animated video to you let's enjoy breathes there the man with soul so dead who never to himself had said this is my own my native land whose heart had ne'er within him burned as home his footsteps he had turned from wandering on a foreign strand if such there breathe go mark him well for him no minstrel rapture swell high though his titles proud his name boundless his wealth as wish can claim despite those titles power and pelf the rich concentered all in self living shall forfeit fair renown and doubly dying shall go down to the vile dust from whence he sprung unwept unhonored and unsung